I'm going to tell NATO, you got to start paying your bills. The United States is not going to take care of everything. also requires a strong European defense capability. So at this summit, I will encourage our European partners to increase their defense investments to support both NATO and EU operations. Every NATO member should be contributing its full share, 2% of GDP, towards our common security. Something that doesn't always happen. The majority of allies are still not hitting that 2% mark an obligation we agreed to in Wales. So we had a very candid conversation about this. They expect full membership when it comes to their defense. Uh, then that means that they've also got to uh, make a contribution that is commensurate with full membership. Now this has been going on for decades. This has been brought up by other presidents, but other presidents never did anything about it because I don't think they understood it or they just didn't want to get involved. But I have to bring it up because I think it's very unfair to our country. It's very unfair to our taxpayer. And I think that these countries have to step it up, not over a 10-year period. They have to